Hey guys, Kevin here. Did you ever have a job that didn't cut all the way through? I've got an excellent example right here. You can see that this job, a lot of cutting on this side, not that much cutting on this side, unfortunately. Uh, this is because this piece was significantly warped. Um, if I had a Muse 3D that could have accounted for the warp, I probably would have cut through it just fine, but unfortunately I didn't. So I'm going to show you guys how, using reference markers, we can put that piece back in the machine and get it lined up perfectly and cut it out now and get our finished product that we wanted without having to worry about scrapping that piece and going and making a whole other piece again. So let's jump right into it. So for starters here, I've already got the Muse on. I'm going to load this in, set it in. Now, uh, the important part is you just have to set it in here um, in the same orientation ideally. You don't necessarily have to drastically change um, what you're doing here, but we're going to go over to the screen here and go to the reference markers screen, and now you can see I can move the laser here and slide it back and forth, and what I'm going to do is actually use the red dot there and slowly move the head of the laser over. Until it's lined up right in the corner. So right there you can see I have it perfectly lined up on the corner. So now once I have it in this corner here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit set marker. So I'll set marker, you'll, it'll be a little hard to see but you can see it just created a little circle there. So now what I'm going to do is move the laser head over to the other side of the piece. Now you can tell, because this doesn't perfectly line up, I didn't actually put this piece in here level. And I'm going to show you guys that that doesn't actually matter. So, get the corner lined up. So that looks just darn about perfect, right about there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit set marker, and now what you're going to see is we have a circle in this corner and a circle in this corner. So now we're going to jump over to the laptop, and I'm going to show you guys how to set this up, and we'll get right to it. Get this right in this corner here. Select my whole design, get it as close to lined up as I can, might zoom in just a little bit more, actually I am going to need to tilt it, so one recommendation here is if you have nice easy rectangular designs like this, um, I would highly recommend putting it in level. Um, what we can do here um, is I come over here to this corner and I'll give it uh, 0.5 degrees, and that will just give it a slight tilt, that's probably too far so we'll go 0.25 and then that looks about right. So now what we'll do is we'll really line this up with this corner here and then we'll see how far off it is and if we need to add any additional angle. So I'm just gonna click here again. Just slowly move this guy around. I'm just going to actually drag it. That's actually going to be the easiest. So that corner is right perfectly on that dot. So now I'm going to come over here. Um, and one other thing that I forgot to mention before we started is you need to make sure that your laser is in absolute mode. If it is not in absolute mode, uh, this will not work. So you can see it looks like we're a little low. So we will actually need a little bit more angle. So I'm going to do 0 0.25. That's going to rotate that design just a little bit more. Let me just select this here. Uh, sorry, I forgot to select it properly here. I'm just going to locate this right on the dot. Looks like for a reason the angle is not taking here, so bear with me. Alright. There we go. Just gonna line that up as best I can here. It looked like the smaller incremental angle change. Uh, wasn't enough for some reason. Um, I'm going to go back down to 0 0.4. That is going to bring it a little bit closer. Just line that up real nice. 
And again, this isn't something that you're going to be regularly doing unless you use something like the pass-through um, or if you just sort of get your focus wrong. And again, I'm sort of being a perfectionist here and trying to get this as perfect as possible. As you can see with the width here, I probably made that one a little bit too far on the inside. Um, but you can see the sweet spot is probably going to be 0 0.45 right here. Um, and that's, that's really what I'm looking for is just finding that sweet spot. So I'm going to move this over here. That's perfectly lined up. What I'm guessing is it's going to be just slightly off in that left corner. Um, and I'm going to trust that left corner a little bit more um, since I do believe that was a little bit more accurate. But you can see the key thing here is it's, it's perfectly lined up um, with that angle that we wanted. So what I'm going to do is just select this piece. Just drag it right into that corner. And now we can head back over to the laser um, and we can watch it um, do this job again. Now the key thing is, as I mentioned earlier, my focus was set incorrectly. So I'm going to readjust the focus there. Um, and then once I get that right, we'll be able to let this job fix itself. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to actually go to home. I'm going to run the perimeter. You can see it going around here. So it looks like it's on the outside, but you have to remember that the whole design is tilted here. So that's why it looks like it's running a little bit around the outside edge. But the key thing is that corner there and that corner there um, are exactly where we would expect. So I'm gonna stop running the perimeter, turn my fan on, I apologize for the noise, and we'll watch it get started. Of course, my apologies. The whole reason we're doing this, sorry, let me turn on the turn off the fan here. The whole reason we're doing this is because I set the focus incorrectly. So let me uh, set you guys down. I'll reset the focus because you can see this is uh, a little too far away. Actually, I can do it one-handed. This is easy enough. So I'm just going to drop that nozzle down so it's at the correct height. Tighten that up. Simple as that. Now because this piece was significantly warped before, that was the problem. Now that it's been cut, um, it's sitting a little bit lower. But now you can see we're having no problems cutting straight through that. I could probably have even turned the speed up just to finish this job a, job a little bit quicker. Um, but this will get the job done just fine. So the laser just finished up, so let's take a look and see how it did. So you can see all the corners look like they dropped out, which is awesome. We got a clean separation from the board, which is great. Turn this guy off so we can kill a little bit of noise. And now you can see I have my wonderful piece all cut out. And you can see this time everything cut through. And it looks exactly as it should. So you can see that I lined it up pretty well because the lines are not really any wider than they otherwise would have been with the original cut. So I would call that uh, success. So I hope that helps if you guys have any jobs uh, that ended up not cutting through all the way so that way you can fix it and not uh, waste more material um, or more time trying to go through and, and recreate something when you can just go back and give it a second pass and honestly you could probably just do that at higher speed too if you wanted to to make it go through um, a little faster. I just said at the same speed because I wasn't in a rush and that way I just knew 100% it was going to cut through that time uh, since I did correct the focus. So with that, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.